Hello friends! Today's spread is a six card spread that helps us identify why we are struggling to get along with someone. Typically this would be used for a close friend or family member, possibly a coworker who, for whatever reason, the last couple of days just have been off. Seems like one or the other of you just cannot find the right words to say and just conflict abounds. So, let's get into it. Today is going to be the first appearance of a new tarot deck, the Fantastical Creatures Tarot, which I am very much looking forward to. And we're going to get into the descriptions of each of the six cards in the spread. Card one is what is the main trigger for this problem? Was there a single event or has this been simmering for a while? Card number two, are they treating everyone this way or am I a special target for some reason? Card number three, can I avoid these mental manipulations, these mind games? Card four, is there some sort of activity or positive thought process that I can bring to this to smooth the situation? Card number five, should I be tougher on them and less tolerant of their behavior? And card number six, should I cut off contact? For this spread, we are using the 22 Major Arcana and the Court cards. So we're going to shuffle up and see what we got. Okay, card one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, card one is the Hermit Reversed. The mythological being depicted on this card is the Old Woman of the Elder. And as is typical of the Hermit, it represents a need for isolation, for introspection. Being reversed, it's that someone has been feeling excluded or isolated, and that has triggered this bout of bad behavior. Card number two, the Page of Wands Upright. The Page of Wands is represented by the sorceress Circe from Greek mythology. And in this setting, it represents the need to look past illusions to see the truth. They are treating other people this way too. You just haven't seen it. You're not alone in dealing with this funk that this other individual is inflicting on those around them. Card number three. How can I avoid playing into their mind game? We have the fool reversed. The fool is typically beginnings. In this case, it's... an extension of your relationship with this individual. Consider how long are they going to be in your life? Are they someone that you actually need to worry about bringing peace back into the relationship? Or is it someone who you only ever see at work and then when you go home, you don't think about them? Weigh how much effort you actually need to put into this. The Fool is represented by Amphisabena which I probably said wrong, but it is a Greek monster slash being that has, is a two-headed snake. Both heads can operate independently and it struggles to decide where it's going. You need to decide which way to go. The fool being reversed, you already have an inclination of which way to go. You just need to take action now. Card number four. What positive actions or feelings can I muster to help rebuild this relationship? We have death reversed. Death in this deck is represented by Anansi, the spider trickster. Anansi, cod, Anansi caused a lot of trouble in African myth, but not because he was particularly malicious usually. Usually it's just because he got distracted. Yes, he caused a lot of chaos and devastation depending on which myth you're looking at. 
but he was not inherently malicious most of the time. Look to the previous portions of their of your interactions with this individual. Identify what behaviors need to stop and then be direct about it. As you are direct about what needs to change, be gentle but firm. Put an end to the bad behavior. Card number five, should I be tougher, less tolerant of this individual? We have the Queen of Swords, represented by the Naga. This version of the Naga comes from Indian mythology, where they are semi-divine beings. Some are antagonistic, some are quite beneficial to humankind. Depends on the individual. But they are always keepers of great knowledge. Look to the experience that you have had with this individual, both good and bad, and seek to make an informed decision. Harkening back to the Fool card, how, how big a part of your life are they actually? Are they someone you need to devote great efforts to reconciliation, or are they someone who, when you leave this job, you're never going to see them again? Card number six, should I cut off contact? We have the Queen of Cups who in this deck is represented by the mermaid. The Queen of Cups is in control of her emotions. She feels them, she processes them, but she doesn't allow them to rule her. She rides their currents, allowing them to inform her decisions and her path. In the short term, it might feel good to just cut them off, but that's not the feeling I get from this. There is still some need to interact with them. So, like the mermaid, Learn to ride those emotional waves and interact with them in the most mature, healthy way possible. And that brings us to the end of this reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do all the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe. And I just set up a coffee page. So if you are enjoying what I'm doing and have some spare cash around and want to support what I'm doing, feel free to buy me a coffee. Until next time, walk in light, my friends. Bye.